see you guys in the next one. Hey there guys, Soxton here at Game. and I'm bringing you guys a quick little tutorial on the best settings for OBS Studios. Before I start the video, I want to tell you guys my computer costs roughly around $1,300, $1,400, and that's where you should be basic information off of. For me, on my computer, I have no lag problems. I could start recording and I might drop five, six frames, but it'll stay steady. So this will probably work with any computers that are decent enough. Uh, but if you have like some Windows XP laptop, these are gonna be too much for you. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. Uh, if you just downloaded OBS Studios, which I will have a link for in the description if you don't even have it yet, uh, it's gonna come up right here, just like this. Uh, you won't have any of this screen right here yet, but you are going to go over here to Scenes, right click, Add Scene, name whatever you want, and that'll be it. And then in that scene, you wanna make a display capture and a audio input. Um, you just by getting that, you right click, you hover over add, and you have an audio input capture where you can name it whatever you want. Click OK, and you could choose what mic you want. Never leave that default. Always choose your mic. Um, I'm just going to delete that because obviously I already have mine. And then for display capture, same thing. You'll find it here. I can't do it again. I can't show you guys how to set it up because. I already have one display capture because I don't have multiple monitors. I can't capture multiple monitors, obviously. So, but if you just click on it, uh, this is, and you, after you name it, this is what will show up. Click which monitor you want to record if you have multiple. If you only have one like myself, it's very straightforward. You choose if you want to capture your cursor, and that's it, really. Uh, you want to go to the mixture right here as well, and I suggest, unless you're capturing multiple different sources, uh, just record your desktop audio, your Yeti, and your mic all to a single track. Uh, if you want to have these saved as separate files, you could obviously change up the track some. Like, if you want to have... A separate track for the desktop audio your mic and just the thing that records the audio input then you're more than welcome to but i just have mine all saved as is uh, but besides that that's pretty much all i got to do right here and we're going to go to settings where everything becomes a lot more important obviously on general choose your language obviously mine's english uh, on theme you could choose dark or default you guys obviously have default if you haven't changed anything thus far i have dark on right now because it's just easier for my eyes and i like it more uh, if you change anything right there you can click apply though i suggest leaving all of this as is except for these if you want to change it we're gonna not talk about streaming because this is a video about recording so for output tab we're gonna go over to recording uh, I can uh, not change any of this stuff right here because I'm recording this video right now using OBS studios to show you guys how smoothly it works and it's my favorite recording device or I guess service um, but you guys could change this obviously but on type you want to put standard on recording path you could choose wherever you want to go i have mine on my second hard drive because it le leaves a lot more space for other things my ssd which i want to keep fairly clean um recording format i definitely suggest mp4 uh audio tracks as i said before if you want to record multiple audio tracks you could uh, select one to six different things to be recorded uh the encoder i use this right here um, if you have an AMD, uh, there'll be an option for AMD that should be default selected. Uh, the rescale output, I don't mess with any of that pretty much. I mean, I suggest not messing with that. Uh, right here on the rate control, so I used to use uh, CQP and some people tell you to use CQP. I use that, I use CBR and I like CBR more. Uh, a bit rate of 40,000 is what you should use. If you have a more high end PC that's, you know, really beefy i definitely suggest maybe about fifty thousand, but i don't think under any circumstances you should go anywhere above that because there's no point and just hurt your computer on audio unless you have multiple things uh you just choose your uh, sample rate which is 44.1 or 48 if you don't know how to like i did when i first started doing this go down to this little icon right here right click on it go to playback devices wait for it to open real quickly right here go to recording for your mic uh go to your mic they're using right now right click on it go to properties and advanced and right here you'll see uh, what type of uh, quality you have for me i could change it up there's no difference for me though so i just keep mine at uh 4400 uh, sorry 44,000. um but yeah so based on what you see there that's how you should choose right here uh keep the channels on stereo uh for the mic always choose it and never leave it on default on any options always pick your mic specifically because sometimes it could mess up like for example i have 
a mic on for my headphones right now, but I only have these for surround sound that I have my Yeti mic. So, so before I just showed what I should use, it picked up my um, headset mic, which is not nearly as good as this Yeti one, so just be careful with that. Besides that, don't change any of this. All this stuff right here should be default for you guys. Uh, click apply, go down to videos. I can't change any of this, obviously, because I'm recording but your base resolution, that's what it is gonna pick up. My monitor is 1440p. Uh, the output scale, I keep at 1080p just because sometimes I realize that my mic uh, just sometimes has a bit of like a weird audio lag and my footage sometimes is a bit lag, has little spikes here and there. So I usually decide to keep it at just 1080p, especially because a lot of devices don't go past 1080p. Like I didn't have a 1440p monitor until like just this Christmas actually so and a lot of devices can't record anything past that but so yeah that's the options there uh, always do 60fps because this is now pretty much a standard and people can really tell if it's not 60fps hotkeys there's a lot of things you could do with these I just have one to start and stop recording but for you guys you could do a lot of more fancy things like changing scenes and such but yeah that's pretty much it for there if you want to make any hotkeys there real quickly do that and click apply and then advance the last section uh, for process priority I always do above normal because that's obviously a priority to me um, the renderer I do direct 3d 11 uh, that's because I have a Nvidia card uh, if somebody has an AMD uh, card you should definitely use the other option uh, given to you right there uh, for the video adapter just leave that clear the color format NV12 uh, is what I use because again I have NVIDIA but if you have an AMD card in there'll be an option that has AMD in the name uh, these two right here keep those I'm pretty sure they're default but if not just change those and I know for a fact that all the rest of the stuff is default and you should not mess with it at least as far as what I'm showing you guys but that is going to be it for the entire tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please do like it I want more people to see this video and I hope you guys found it very useful if you want to see tutorials like this alongside gameplays and such please do subscribe uh, but without further ado I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll